Last week I saw Olivia Wilde's newest film Don't Worry Darling starring Harry Styles, Florence Pugh, Chris Pine and Gemma Chang. And to be honest, I thought it was fine. However, because I have had a week to think about it and let the themes and the story and everything in the film sink in a bit more, the more I think about it, the more underwhelming the film appears to me. Which, from my point of view, is rather annoying for a few different reasons. The first of those being that I was actually quite excited for this film. The cast looked really good, the trailers looked really intriguing, and after seeing Olivia Wilde's directorial debut Booksmart just a couple of years ago and really liking it, I was intrigued to see what she would do next in terms of her being a director. However, the second and main reason why I am annoyed at this film being underwhelming is because it's a big budget, high concept sci-fi film. And we don't get many of those nowadays. Unless you're Jordan Peele or an A24 production, you don't usually see high concept sci-fi getting this sort of budget. Now, you used to see that back in like the 70s and 80s and even the 90s to an extent, but within the 2010s going on to now, most sci-fi films that you see that have huge budgets are either passion projects or well-established franchises. Something that is original and is high concept as Don't Worry Darling is, you don't usually see that much in cinemas, especially something with a budget this big. Now the only recent exception to this is probably Jordan Peele's Nope, which we got earlier this year, but that being said, that's Jordan Peele. He's kind of now respected in the filmmaking community and he has enough clout to be able to make a film like that. Don't Worry Darling, on the other hand, is a little bit of an anomaly in that sense. And I'm all for it, it's just I'm annoyed that the end product was as underwhelming as it was. Now I don't want to make this out as if I'm slating the film entirely, because I've seen some people out there completely crapping all over this film, and I definitely don't think it's a bad film. If anything, I actually think it's pretty decent. However, I wanted it to be great, and I know some people out there do think it's great, like for example, my friend Meg, who I went to see the film with, absolutely loved this film. Unfortunately for me, I felt as if the film was lacking a few different things and felt like it could have gone further in a few areas that, to really make it stand out in my opinion. Now before I get into what didn't work about the film, I want to just clarify a few things that I did really like about the movie. First of all, the performances are all pretty good across the board. Florence Pugh is absolutely fantastic and there is a lot of the film that kind of rides on her performance being as good as it is, but because it's Florence Pugh she's giving a great performance anyway. So she definitely is the glue that holds this movie together. Chris Pine is also really good in this film. And yes, for those of you wondering, Harry Styles is absolutely fine in the film. He's not terrible, but he's not amazing either. There's a few scenes near the start of the film where I was starting to worry a little bit about his performance, but as the film goes on, he gets more comfortable in his performance and actually delivers a few really good moments here and there. I also think the film looks stunning. The cinematography of this film is absolutely gorgeous and it perfectly encapsulates that 1950s feel that the film is going for. Also, Olivia Wilde's direction is also pretty damn good. There are a few choices here and there that I personally would have done differently, but that's mainly due to editing choices. But in terms of her behind the camera and the specific shot choices they used in a lot of the moments, I thought they were really good and she has a really good understanding of scale, which is what this film really needed. However, like I said before, this film isn't perfect. And there's a few things here and there pulling this movie back from being as good as it really should be. The main one of those reasons being its story. Now the writing isn't dreadful in the film, but it definitely doesn't help itself at times. The movie purely relies on a sense of mystery. The main character is starting to 
try and piece together what exactly is going on and we as an audience don't quite know what's going on as a whole so we're in the same position as them we're trying to figure out what's going on and a good 60 to 50 percent of the film is alice trying to figure out what's happening so like i said we are in her shoes as well we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on for about 60 percent of the film's runtime and for the most part that sense of mystery is well captured in terms of a visual sense however it's when we come back around to the story again that is when it starts to kind of fall apart because from my perspective and i've seen a few people feel this way as well so i know i'm not alone on this is that when the film gets to a certain point you kind of know exactly where the rest of the film is going to go from that point onwards or at least you have an idea of where it's going to go which is why the film didn't grab me as much as it did the mysterious parts of the film were intriguing for sure but as soon as something happens and you start to realize what's kind of going on you kind of have a rough idea of where the film's gonna go or at least the certain beats it needs to take to get to certain places now there are many ways this could have been avoided they could have done a completely different twist which i think would have made for a more unpredictable route with the film because by the time the twist does occur i was just thinking to myself okay so that's what they're going with fine i guess they could have maybe reworked the ending or even just a slight little restructure in terms of the way certain things happen in the story could have even fixed it like for example what jack howard said in his tiktok and instagram post which is that if the twist of the film had happened slightly earlier in the movie then we could have had an entire second half of the main character trying to plot out how to fix this situation that she's in and it would have made for a more compelling second half rather than the twist happening and then everything just sort of kind of happening very quickly in the final act now this isn't me saying this is 100% what Olivia Wilde should have done it's just me theorizing what other ways they could have gone in terms of making the story just that little bit more compelling especially in the second half because like i said in the first half of the film where it focuses a lot on the mystery of what's going on i was mostly intrigued and i wanted to see where it went but by the time the film was over i thought to myself this was basically just a big budget episode of black mirror and considering how excited i was for this film you can kind of see how disappointing that initially made me feel coming out of the movie and again i just want to reiterate that i am not trying to shit on this film i actually think it's pretty decent for what it is it's just i can see the potential in the ideas that it was going for and i feel like there could have been other ways for them to make those elements a lot more compelling and stick just a little bit more but at the end of the day those are just my opinions if you've seen don't worry darling let me know what you think of it in the comments below i'd be very interested to see what you think of the film if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already bye